Hey Klaus, this is for you. You might remember last year my soil was as hard as a rock. <clears throat> well, look at this this year. Don't worry about the tulip. This is a, an old yard, yard, yard weasel or something. <clears throat> Pardon me. But look at how the soil is this year. Like that's totally different, eh? Not quite. I might just take the old, uh, shouldn't have done that one, that was a flower. I might just take the old uh, stalwart through here quickly. Hardly any weeds at all. Maybe it's 10 in the whole bed. That's great. I'm just going to take you over to the garden now. Okay, back in the main garden now, Cloud. Last year I couldn't I couldn't penetrate this with the shovel or the tiller. Look at that. Perfect, huh? So we had we had a heat dome two years ago and that really, really affected my soil for the whole season. And the garden last year was poor, so won't it be fun to see how it does this year? <laughs> Thanks. Bruce, over and out. Alright, Klaus. October. Just make sure it's got oil. Right up to the threads. Look at that tank for a 50 year old machine, eh? I'll be right back. All right, I just put some fuel in it. Well, fast. Oh, yeah, I ran out of gas on fast throttle. Well, I don't know if it's going to start on one pole.
like that. One tiny adjustment on the mixture screw. Could be the new fuel. Could be the old fuel. Yeah, that was fun, Klaus. All right, right here, on this small trench along this string, I'm planting my marigolds. And I'm planting them three weeks earlier than most seeds. Look, there's a worm there already. Look at that. Isn't that fantastic? And I'm planting them shallow, like not even a half an inch. Let's see if Mrs. P approves. Thanks. Okay, right along in here, we've got marigolds. I put them in thick, and now they're covered up over on that side. So you can see the transition from about there on. I gotta cover them up, and I you hardly cover them at all, guys. I've got a lot of seed in there. These are from the flowers last year, and the year before that, and the year before that. We may buy the odd new bunch of marigolds. They're not expensive, but it's just rewarding to uh, to do this. Something my grandfather would have done. And these devils. Are you still with me? Yes, these devils take a long time to germinate. So I'll be just thinking about buying. And these will start poking their little heads up on the uh, north side of that string. Thanks, guys. Okay, now we're out front. This is our bleeding heart. And... As of now, we don't have anything else in there. I'm going to yard weasel this. And we're going to put nasturtiums in here again. So just let me get my tool. I'll give you a quick... Oh, wind. I'm, I'm so sorry about the wind. Let me block the wind. That's a yard weasel. And that's a tool that we use out here. And... Uh, I can't get the rototiller up this ridge. And it works good. Less till. So it just works like this. Don't mind the wind. So I just have to do that and then I'll plant my nasturtiums in here. So to give you an idea where we are. Thanks. All right, I turned this with the, uh, with the yard weasel. And now I'm just gonna rake it in a little better before I plant my Nasturtiums, are they? There's a lot in here. There's a lot of old seeds from last year. Oh, yeah, mint. And in they go. And I put them in about to, twice the depth of the seed. And they look like that. Thanks. Alright, so they're going from here to here to this stick. From this stick about five all the way 
down. You can see them there. There's the odd wild one still, right, from last year. And then there'll be three hoops. One, two, and three. We'll see what they do next year. Nasturtiums. I'm just going to cover them up. If you guys want to watch, you go right ahead. It's windy, remember? Let's put that right up there. That might help. I didn't put any right in here because this bleeding heart is going to take over the whole half of this side. There we go. I just got to get a little water on it. Let's just go put some happy little water on there. Stone. One stick left. Just going to water it. Thanks. All right. Oops, trying to guard the mic. Just a quick water, and away we'll go. Thanks for watching this one. Okay, this is my tiller, tipped up on a slant, on an angle, and I want you to be able to look at at the uh, this assembly right here. This, when I got this, it never had a drag bar. So I made up this drag bar today, and it's the only part of the rototiller that's got nice paint on it, eh? So we're going to shove this into here like that. I don't care if it's scratched, because the rest of the rototiller is in pretty poor condition, paint-wise. And... Good. And typical me, right? The paint's still wet while I'm doing this. Now, if you want the uh, bar to go down, you place the pin in that position so it can't come up. And if you want to push the tiller around the yard so this isn't dragging, the point's not dragging down, you put it up. So let's put it in the up position first. I've only got Two hands. I need another one coming out of my forehead, eh? There. So at that position, you can push it around the yard. Barely, right? Down there. Can you see my hand there? Nope. There. And then if you want to raise it up... Oh, that's till height. And then... To raise it up, or down, or whatever you want to consider, you put it on top of those guys. And now you're tilling. Right here. Cool, eh? So I'm going to put it back, because I'm going to push it into the garden. And some people say you should leave the wheels on, and other guys say you should leave the wheels off. But at my age, uh, what am I doing? At my age, one less piece of vibration shared by the wheels is a good thing. So there. I kind of came up with the dimensions for it myself, and I welded it too. Right there, all four sides. Thanks. So there it is facing up. After I was done with it, I just turn it around and have it facing up. And you can push this little guy anywhere you want. I'd say it's a success. Yeah. 
the paint matches because I've kind of used it before it's set up. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. And there it is. Most of the leaves are being composted as we speak. I know it's early, but uh, the uh, garden is full of earthworms already. So that's pretty cool, eh? I'm pushing it this year. Last year I we had, or was it the year before? We had the what they call a heat dome, and it just cooked my soil. There was no earthworms in it. Uh, it wasn't happy. And then last year I worked at it and added organic material. And this year I've worked at it. And as long as I can keep it moist and keep it from being baked, we should have a we should have a good, a really good, a really good little garden here. Yes, and I'm starting to bring out the green and yellow stuff too. That's the 180.